Welcome to the Senior Honors Recognition and the announcement of the Local Scholarship winners, celebrating the Class of 2021. I'd like to thank the scholarship and award donors, their efforts collecting, reviewing, and selecting the winners through this platform has been nothing short of amazing. Thank you to each and every scholarship donor for investing your time and dedicating your efforts on behalf of the class of 2021. Your commitment and investment in our students is greatly appreciated. These scholarships total over $50,000. Before we start the presentation of the unannounced local scholarships, I would like to introduce the first of three speakers, your salutatorian, Alexis Mawinney. To be honest, when I was first asked to do this speech, I was a little bit nervous. I sat down to start writing it and I had no clue what I wanted to say, but well, here we are. You all have probably heard the cliche saying that high school goes by in the blink of an eye, so we have to cherish it while we can, right? The one that nobody ever believes going into high school, I know I sure didn't. Well, I'm here to tell you that they were right. High school definitely wasn't like what people make it seem in the movies. It was so much more than that. The class of 2021, the day you've longed for, is finally almost here. 2021 seems so far away when your kindergarten teacher read off the year you'd graduate, didn't it? Congratulations, you made it. As you look around you at your graduation, you can name your current friends, past friends, people you've made countless memories with, and people you've known since kindergarten. These are the people that have all played a role in shaping who you are today. Everyone you've interacted with throughout your time here has created the mosaic of who you are. Beautiful. You see, we aren't defined by our past, our mistakes, our test scores, or most importantly, our grades. This isn't the end of the rest of our lives, but rather the end of the first chapter. Before we talk about the start of new beginnings or the future or whatever you want to call it, let's look at a brief little blast from the past for a second to take how far we've come into consideration because I think something as important as that should definitely be recognized. All right, the year we all hate to look back on, freshman year. Boy, were we excited to be in high school. I don't know what exactly was going through our heads, but something about being called fresh meat by every single senior on that first day made LHS feel like home to us eventually. We didn't care what anyone said about us. We were just happy to be there. It didn't matter what anyone thought. We just did whatever made us happy. That cocky freshman confidence that everyone had actually helped build up our resilience and toughness that you also carry with you today. And you should be all be proud of that. Sophomore year. Oh, the memories. Sophomore year was the year of change. Friends come and go. Career aspirations change. And we start figuring out who we really were. People often are scared of change, especially what happens during high school and after high school. But this change, transitioning into your future and pursuing your dreams, you can always look forward to. Now on to junior year, the year everything started off normal and then everything seemed to change. The year where what we thought was a two week longer spring break turned into, well, where we are now. The year we beat the seniors in Powder Puff, our last real homecoming dance. Little did we know that this would be the beginning of our last. Little did we know that this would also be the amazing start of brand new beginnings. And of course, I have to mention the word we all know and love, quarantine. If getting through quarantine doesn't show us how strong we all are and how much we've grown, I don't know what will. Senior year, the year everyone dreams of for practically their entire lives. Although this year might not have been what everyone would consider to be their dream year, we still managed to make the most of it. Whether it be riding tractors into the school parking lot on the last day of school or the random chants coming from the student section during football season, we've created memories that will last us a lifetime. This year has definitely been hard on each and every one of us, from the nonstop contact tracing to the shortened sports seasons to virtual classes. It's definitely been different this year for sure. This class, the class of 2021, will be the class that everyone remembers. Through it all, we got through this year together. I'd like to thank each and every one of our teachers and staff who have managed to navigate through new ways of learning and have stuck with us through it all. We truly couldn't have done it without you guys. On behalf of the class of 2021, I would also like to personally thank all of our families and parents. This year has been hard as it is, but you all have provided us with encouragement and opportunities that have pulled us through all of our highs and lows this year. Throughout everything that's happened, we made it through. We've grown together as one class. We are tough, we are strong, we are eagles. So soar into your future as it is only just the beginning. The Michigan Competitive Scholarship Award is based on a student's qualifying SAT score 
of at least 1200 Applicants must also file for free application for federal student aid. The President of the Student Council, Molly James. Before I get started, I'd like to start off by thanking some people that have helped me to get to where I am today. First off, I want to thank my family. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Through all of the highs and lows, whether it be congratulating me for not failing a test or attempting to help me with pre-calc by teaching me the old ways, and of course, my siblings for setting high expectations. In all honesty, I appreciate all of the advice you guys have given me to get me through high school. Next, I want to thank my friends and classmates. Thank you for making these four years some of the most memorable and crazy times. Without these people, I would not be the same person I am today. As I was sitting down to write this speech the night before, because that's the normal thing to do in high school, I was trying to think of a general topic to talk about. What better thing to do than call Max James, my brother? In fact, many people only knew me by, oh, you're Max James's sister? And I reply, yep, that's me. I called him because he gave the same speech a couple of years ago. He explained that he wrote about superheroes and I wasn't surprised. After much thinking, I decided to focus on a basic speech consisting of reminiscing on memories and advice for the future. To start off, I think we can all agree it's been a hectic four years, especially these last two. We've been through all of it together. These types of memories we have made will be something we'll never forget, whether it be ripping on freshmen in the student section or bringing a pontoon into the student parking lot on the last day of school. All these times we have had together will be missed and looked back on as we grow up. We all hear people tell us that, oh, high school years fly by, take it all in while it lasts. And as I stop to think about it, that's the most brutally honest thing I've heard. High school has not only taught me the quadratic formula, but it's also taught me to make everything count and spend valuable time with people that mean the most to you. On to the reality check part. We're done with high school and we're on the next part of our lives, whether it be college, trade school, military, gap year, or whatever you may choose to do, real life starts now. High school has shaped who you are at the moment, but these next years will really show who you'll become. I figured my advice may not be as valuable as a teacher's advice, so I decided to ask two teachers if they had to give us the best piece of advice for our future, what would it be? I start... To start, I asked Mr. Schneider. After his classic quiz bowl intro, he explains that we all need to embrace the thrill of learning from now until our final breath. Every new person that comes into your life, every experience in every new place, there's a reason for everything that happens in your life. Having the urge will help you discover the purpose behind them. Next, I asked Miss Elmer. Her best advice to give was to do everything that you do with your whole heart and commit everything to it. And of course, she said, don't be afraid to let a little noise out from time to time. Reminding me of the times Miss Elmer would just randomly scream, woo, down the hallway. If you want something, you have to work to get there. Give it your all. Be the person that boosts everybody's mood by making a little noise in their life. Now, don't let just let this information go right over your head. Try to implement this advice into your future years. And I just wanted to say thank you, teachers, for allowing me to share this beneficial advice with my classmates. Now, I said I was not going to talk about superheroes, but Max's advice was too good not to share. He explained to me there are three characteristics to be a superhero in the world. First, have a good character. This is what you do when nobody's watching. That's what counts the most. Two, be a leader. 
Being a leader is not easy and you face many hardships, but that's what a leader does. They influence and motivate others to be the best versions of themselves. And lastly, helping others no matter the cost, just as Max did with my speech. That information is some of the best advice I've heard. Ultimately, as little kids, we've always dreamed of being a superhero. So let's go out and make it happen. Nothing's stopping us. All right, I can't end the speech without saying thank you to Post Malone. As I'm sure many of you guys are confused, allow me to explain. The last day of school, as we were walking down the halls one last time, the speaker was playing Congratulations by Posty. As a class, we were screaming the song as we happily walked out the doors. As we hit the parking lot, the song was on repeat. Slowly, everybody started crying and hugging each other. I'll never forget this song, and I will always think of the good old days when it's playing. All right, class of 2021, it's been a good run with all of you. One last thank you for everything and anything you've taught me through these years. And the last and final thing I want to say is that because we're all patient, we can now scream that we made it. The President's Award for Educational Excellence is based on a minimum 3.5 grade point average of seven semesters of high school. The student must also have achieved the 85th percentile in math or reading on the ACT or SAT test. The Vice President of the Linden Board of Education, Sherry Luck. Graduates, it is my honor to join you today to recognize your amazing accomplishments and to celebrate your successes thus far. My name is Sherry Luck and I am the Vice President of the Linden School Board. Parents, grandparents, family and friends, I can only imagine the sense of pride that you are currently feeling as you gather to celebrate this milestone and the honors that your graduate has achieved. Wow, this school year has been a remote start, virtual option, hybrid learning, in-person, face-to-face, quarantining, COVID testing, mask wearing, social distancing, six feet apart, assigned seating, hand washing, desk sanitizing, contact tracing, decision making, Google Classroom, Zoom meeting, spectator limiting year like no other. Whew. And despite all of this, you have worked hard to not only overcome each of these difficult circumstances and unexpected challenges, but you have earned honors, scholarships, and special acknowledgments that set you apart from average. You have so much to be proud of. Take this time and the time in the coming days to reflect on your experiences. Why were you successful? What have you learned? How can these experiences help to guide you on the next part of your journey? Your time at Linden High School, the friends made, the memories etched in your heart, and the academic and extracurricular endeavors that you have completed are just the beginning. I know it's hard to imagine at this moment, but trust me when I say the best is yet to come. Each of you have personal, academic, and professional goals that you have begun to work towards. Each of you have begun to consider what adulthood will look like, and each of you have a very specific and individual idea of what success will mean for you and how to achieve it. Without similar goals and ideals, you would likely not have earned the honors that you are receiving today. Moving forward, it will be important that you never stop believing in what hard work, persistence, and an open mindset can help you accomplish. American inventor, engineer, and businessman Charles Kettering once said, no one would have crossed the ocean if he could have gotten off the ship in the storm. This past year has been stormy, yet here you are at the destination point of your senior year. You never quit, 
You never gave up and you never stopped steering the ship toward your objective. You are well prepared to continue the journey to the next destination. Your ship is stocked with prior knowledge, experiential memories, and aspirational goals. This fuel will help to launch your trip, but will not solely carry the rest of the way. You will need to provide your vessel with motivation, grit, drive, and resiliency through the coming years. You can do whatever you set out to do, as long as you keep a positive attitude and never give up. Celebrate your wins and learn from your losses. Don't be afraid to change directions or even the destination, but never get off the ship. Be kind and forgiving to yourself and to others and enjoy every stop, whether it was planned or not, along the way. On behalf of the Linden Community Schools Board of Education, congratulations to each of you and best wishes on all of your future endeavors. Enjoy your journey. Academic Award Winners.
Local scholarships offering $250. The Linden Robotics Scholarship or $250 scholarships. The first winner, Corbin Hake. The second recipient, Dominic Banassi. The third recipient, Katherine Smith. And the final winner, Madeline Shuffler. Scholar Athlete Award. Senior athletes with a GPA of 3.5 or higher. Local scholarships offering $500. Linden Little League Tig Holcomb Scholarship, one $500 scholarship. The winner, Cassandra Most. Administration Office Scholarship, two $500 scholarships. The first winner, L. Haney. The second recipient, Mallory Ross. The Linden Athletic Booster Scholarship. Four five hundred dollar scholarships. The first winner, Dominic Banassi. The second recipient, Aubrey Moffitt. The third recipient, Blake Lund. And the final winner, Cassandra Most. 
Linden High School Casual Dress Scholarship. Three $500 scholarships. The first winner, Alex Bentley. The second recipient, Samantha Kosofsky. And the final winner, Josephine Sokolowski. Linden Music Booster Scholarship. One $500 scholarship. The winner, Dominic Banassi. The State Bank Scholarship. One $500 scholarship. The winner, Madeline Strayer. Hope Lutheran Church Scholarship. One $500 scholarship. The winner, Gabriel Hay. Dale Kudworth Memorial Scholarship. One $500 scholarship. The winner, Milena Strauss. The Linden Education Association Scholarship. One $500 scholarship. The winner, Jessica Jablonski. LCS K-5 Elementary Scholarship. There will be one $500 scholarship. The winner, Jessica Jablonski. Triple Threat Award. This is awarded to seniors involved in three sports in high school. Local scholarships offering $1,000. Service Above Self Award Rotary Club of Fenton. One $1,000 scholarship. The winner, L. Haney. The Manor Scholarship. One $1,000 scholarship. The winner, Brianna Miller. Jennifer L. LaRoque Memorial Scholarship. One $1,000 scholarship. The winner, Kelly Corian. Lacey Catherine Kerner Memorial Scholarship. One $1,000 scholarship. The recipient, Jillian Hegenauer. The Mary Hike Scholarship from Linden Masonic Lodge. Two $1,000 scholarships. The first recipient, Dominic Banassi. The second recipient, Liberty Eaton. Cliff Totsi Memorial Scholarship. One $1,000 scholarship. The recipient, Delaney Prince. Senior Scholar Award. The Senior Scholar Award is based on a cumulative GPA and SAT scores.
local scholarships offering $1,500 and up. Kiwanis Scholarship. There will be three $1,500 scholarships. The first recipient, Madeline Strayer. The second recipient, Lily Warner. And the final winner, L. Haney. Helen Gilbert Memorial Scholarship. One $1,500 scholarship. The recipient, Jessica Jablonski. The Fenton Regional Chamber of Commerce Scholarship. One $2,000 scholarship. And the winner, Gabriel Hay. Van Gilder Family Scholarship. There will be two $2,500 scholarships. The first recipient, Alicia Ottman. The second recipient, Holt Toth. Top graduates, students with a 4.0 GPA or higher. Local scholarships offering $10,000. William F. Close Memorial Scholarship. There will be two scholarships totaling $10,000 each. The first winner, Madeline Strayer. The 
The second recipient, Corbin Hake. <laughs>